like, comment, subscribe. So today's first main topic is the homo's finest in entrepreneur advice. You know, the word finest always comes from our uh, uh, show producer, Mr. AM. I'm going to call him because AM is going to be mentioned a lot in here. So call him AM. Y'all know who AM is. It's Aaron Matt. Got me? Cool. Mm -hmm. So AM wants to know, why do we agree with the statements of this fine, one of, one of AM's words, fine entrepreneur, Houston-based rapper Lil Kiki? Why do we disagree? Um, and so he was talking about entrepreneurship and teaching our kids how to be able to understand the true value of being an entrepreneur versus thinking that it's okay to get hats and t-shirts and sell sneakers and think you're an entrepreneur and it's going to set you for life. You know, and in regards to like kids not want to be teaching kids not to aspire to be doctors, lawyers, and you know, uh, you know, those wonderful things, contractors, and you know, all those amazing things that we need in the world. And so, um, can showcase in the life of an entrepreneur through our posts on social media, glamorize the work in such a way that it gives the youth a false sense of security and flyness in their future entrepreneurial pursuits. How should we direct the aspirations of our youth and how should we share this on social media? I'll start with myself. Saw the video. I told, uh, I agree with what he's saying about how so many people are glamifying how it is to be an entrepreneur and they're glamifying how to be an entrepreneur, but they're not giving the real tools that they need. And then on top of that, on top of glamifying it, they're falsifying and they're obviously saying they're driving Bentleys and they're not in all the falsifying numbers and all these other things, causing kids to think that, you know, youngsters to think that, oh, wait, I want to do this. I want to talk to you. I want to do that when they're really not making no money. They're really not making it happen. So Papa was just saying, Lil Kiki was just saying, teach these kids how to do it the right way. If they're going to do it, do it the right way. And don't try to deter them to be an entrepreneur and not, you know, be a, you know, a teacher or a lawyer or, you know, something, a one of those doctor, you know, things that we need in this world. And so I, I do not disagree with little Kiki on that. I definitely agree. And I feel like how we can show them is by connecting them with the people who are actually doing what they want to do, but really doing it successfully. So for every 10 people on Instagram that's just falsifying, there's got to be one of them out there that's really doing the right thing. So I feel like the best thing you can do for your kid and for the youth out here is connect them. If you know somebody that's doing what they want to do, hey, this one is giving me all this kind of... Mm. If you know somebody out there doing what it is that the youth around you want to do, connect them, network them, connect them with the right person so that they can be doing what they need to start following them behind those other people on Instagram, scamming and doing and trying to take their money. It's a lot of scamming and doing going on, scamming and doing. So, you know, this it's too easy to get caught up in. I have friends that lost thousands of dollars from people scamming and doing. Okay, so when it comes to that, you know, the, 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 there's better ways to do it. And I think that that's a better way to do it. So I'm going to go to Mashiro G on this one. You bitch. Talk to me, Miss Lady. Talk to me. What do you feel about this? About, you know, do you agree with what he said? Do you think that there's a better way to show them how to, how to be, how to do this without, you know, glamour, glamorizing Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all these other things? Um, well, I feel like this is a, um, is a hard place. Um, when you're not a celebrity, it, people don't really want to invest in you unless they see the success. Um, so I know as soon as I started posting with certain people and stuff, um, you know, people started to recognize me. Like if I didn't put these different people in my stories or in my posts, like they support me, then they would have just, oh, that's another black struggling business or whatever. So like you sort of do have to glamorize it to market yourself to get more business. Um, but the thing is, is like a lot of people who don't understand the struggle behind the business, they're just going to see the glamorous part. They don't understand like how many days that you actually like going and clocking in and out of, uh, you know, at a job is different from, you know, having to go out there and make it happen. So you might not get paid your first three or four days or whatever. You just have to work and make it happen. So um, that's the thing is people not seeing that other side of it. But the thing is showing that other side um, also makes it seem like if you show the struggle and the success, oh, well, if um, I struggle, you know, like people think that they can do that. Every blueprint doesn't work for everybody. Like mm -hmm. the way I got into photography was totally different from every other photographer that I've ever met. Like, um, so 
my story is not going to be the blueprint for your success. So um, you have to follow what you believe in and what's your passion um, and not second guess yourself. That's the only only way that it's going to work. But you have to glamorize things for people to like, like, you know, to really invest in it. So, I mean, I'm just, okay. I'm a little sad. That's a different perspective. I mean, I'm great. So, I mean, there's ways to it. And that's why we're asking these questions. Um, sir, Ron, Sir Ron, talk to me. What do you feel about all this? Do you, feel like, do you agree with what he said? Do you feel like there's a way you can do it? How can, how, how can we do it? I don't know. Um, being a person that comes from entrepreneurship myself, it's like there are some bad ways to promote it. And so I think the struggle and the success should be shown. The whole story should be told about it. And it's some ethics that go into it, like the hard work ethic that like even in learning that pathway, like if you don't start off right, you'll wind up anybody that's working for you anything like that will wind up making money while you're still trying to build out you got to be willing to invest in yourself um and so i believe that's something that takes off the grid training and seeing if a person really had to go get them to invest in their self because you gotta you gotta put those supporters around you as well that when the time get rough they motivate you not to give up because this is your dream this is your passion or whatever it is. So I, I definitely agree that there's some ins and outs about it that should be promoted that are the true ethics to entrepreneurship. But also it's like, when it comes to what should we show, I think your most genuine authentic self and what what hardships you had to go through to get to this multimillionaire platform that you can now show as if though it was that easy and day one started out like that. Mm-hmm. All right, man. Okay. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll this topic last but not least before we move to the next topic. So Rocky, talk to me. How do you think, do you agree with little little PTD rap or do you think, how do, we, how do we show them in a different way? Talk to me. Um, I'll start off with this. Being an entrepreneur and trying to try to step off and try to do your own thing you have to be hungry, okay? In this world, everybody who wants to be an entrepreneur, we're all hungry, but everybody don't get to eat. Everybody don't get to eat. You you know what I mean? An entrepreneur really is about taking a risk on yourself. I'll start off with myself. <clears throat> I have four books. The highest book I ever sold was my first one. That's because everybody was surprised <laughs> to see that I was writing a book. Book two, book three, book four, I haven't even seen it. not too many people supporting it because a lot of people, like, I mean, if you're not important to people, you know, or you're not doing anything special, nobody really is going to sit there and just really just, so, you know, you know, it's, and maybe it's something I'm doing wrong. So I wouldn't say, I mean, I, I, something I'm, maybe I'm not, not doing right. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. But, you know, I mean, Start off somewhere and, 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 you know, and try different things. You know, I would say if you're going to be an entrepreneur, please do it the right way. Scamming out in these streets, kids, is not the way to go because at the end of the day, you're going to catch hell from it. But, I mean, if you got a certain skill, a certain talent, go for it or whatever. Um, you know, honestly, the other day I was thinking about what, what other ways can I promote myself? There's this woman that eats crab legs and all kinds of food, and she's making bank just by eating food on YouTube. I'm thinking, right, a muk- mukbang or is it a mukbang? You say mukbang, is mukbang? Yeah. Mukbang. I'm thinking about doing one of those. Now, I may get fat as fuck, but I mean, shit, if that brings me the money, Hell, because I'm a good for, uh, food uh, critic. You know what I mean? I, y'all see I'll be cooking. Or, you know, there's a couple people saying, you know, you should do a cooking show or whatever. I thought about that, too, because, you know, sometimes when you start off with something, it may not. You got to constantly change your hustle and, and have strategies of how you're going to up your hustle to promote yourself. And then eventually people have to catch on. You know what I mean? Everybody don't catch on right away. It may take a minute. It may take. Years, 
You know what I mean? But never give up and just keep on just doing you. Uh, and eventually people will get it. And that's right. I like that. I like that. I like how you guys all um, amplify that. And I feel like when it comes that, you know, to the scammers, just remember karma. That's all I'm going to say about that. And I'm going to move on. But remember karma. Whatever, you know, you do something, it's going to come back to you. So 